All right, if you're really looking for a cocktail to impress your guests, then I highly recommend the Key Lime Martini. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you what ingredients are needed in order to make this delicious cocktail. First of all, your vanilla vodka, and then we have some Midori melon liqueur. And I brought with me some pineapple juice, as well as some whipped cream. We've got some cut up limes. Um, we have some almond extract, and then lastly, we took some vanilla wafers and crushed them all up and put them on a plate for you just like that, and I'll show you what we're going to do with those in a second. First off, let's start with our martini glass and three-piece shaker. We're going to go ahead and fill this guy with some ice. Whoops. And make sure we get a lot of ice right into that shaker, just like that. Okay. Go ahead and start. We want to put about two ounces of the vanilla vodka right into the shake, just like that. And get that going. And there we go. We're gonna put, let's see, about an ounce of Midori right in there, just like that. And then just about a splash, about an ounce to two ounces of the pineapple juice. Next, we're going to take some whipped cream and a brand new bottle. Make sure it's shaking up really good. You want to put just about a squirt right into the shaker. And then lastly, we're going to take some of our almond extract and we want to just put a dash. Be very potent so we don't want to put too much and then we'll go ahead and close that lid and start shaking when you're at about 15 20 shakes that's when you know your uh, your drink is cold and ready to go before we pour that into our glass we're going to take one of our lime wedges and lightly coat the rim of our martini glass so it's uh, nice and wet there with the lime juice. I'm going to take my crushed up vanilla wafers and drop that glass right into there. And what we will get is a fine coat of the vanilla wafer around the entire rim of the glass. So that'll look nice and taste very good as well. Then we can go ahead and pour this right in. Just like that. Last, what I want to do is take a few crumbles of our vanilla and just sprinkle that vanilla wafer right on top and finish it off with a lime lunch. And there you have the key lime martini. Delicious.